Hi, I'm Beverly. And I'm Michael. And uh, we're here today in Casa Marino. Beautiful, beautiful Casa Marino. And the um, accommodations couldn't be better. We've enjoyed it so much. Um, and San Miguel is just a wonderful place. I was interested, it seems like my face was kind of falling in, so I wanted to open it up. And uh, so I was interested in, in looking at, uh, you know, having a procedure done. And uh, I researched different kinds of facelifts and different kinds of procedures and found out what I wanted, a full facelift, and, uh, which is what Dr. Kulliker does and uh, what we've had. And so um, <clears throat> then I started doing research as to uh, where we could go and have it done and uh, the doctor, how um, uh, their skills, of course, and uh, that was utmost. And um, in our research, we kept coming back to uh, Facelift Mexico. And um, we really liked the idea of coming to a, a retreat and recovering where we didn't have to uh, talk to anyone uh, or have to worry about people coming over or seeing us or anything, and, and it's worked out great. Um, we, have, uh, we have recovered in peace, <laughs> and, uh, and that was important for us. Michael did most of the research. I basically, when he mentioned it, he said about three or four years ago he wanted to do a facelift. I said, no way. I was not interested. I've been through surgery, and it's like, no. I'm not going to do it. But the more he kept researching and when he found when he found um, mm -hmm. this place, he said, why don't you look at this? And so I did, and I was very impressed. And so he said, why don't we do this? Why don't we do it as a couple? Um, our 40th wedding anniversary was, was last November. We didn't have a chance yeah. to do anything for that. So right. we decided this was going to be our anniversary present for each other. Mm -hmm and we were going to do something for each other and for ourselves. Yeah, and we also wanted to mention that um, Beverly works, we are around medicine and uh, medical facilities. Uh, the, she works for the largest um, medical research facility um, university in the South. And um, so we are well accustomed to doctors and their <clears throat> skills and procedures and, and accommodations and um, um, when we came here, you know, this is a private hospital, and people just don't come in off the street. When you come in there, you're supposed to be there. And, um, and uh, Dr. Kulliker uh, met us when we came in the door, <laughs> and uh, we arranged our accommodations. We went to our room, and then he was there in the room, and we talked about um, what maybe procedures he thought, after looking at us personally, we needed, and um, uh, so we both had a facelift, and I had a, an upper blepharoplasty, and um, <clears throat> we both had a little bit of fat uh, placed in the right places, and <laughs> um, so that's when it started. And then the tests uh, we have, you know, blood tests and EKG, and and then um, the next day, that was on Monday, and the next day, Tuesday, Beverly had her procedure first. Yes, I, I basically told him I'm going first because if, if I don't, I'm afraid I'll chicken out. <laughs> so I, I went first, and so I'm eight days from surgery. Yeah. And I'm exactly a week today. And something else about uh, Dr. Kulliker, <clears throat> we researched all about his um, credentials and everything, and they were first rate. And uh, we, we've seen the, um, we saw the um, videos and um, the results that he um, uh, was able to obtain were very natural looking, and um, that's what we wanted. And and Beverly and I both had a full SMAS uh, facelift. Yeah. And um, and so another thing about Dr. Kolaker is he's there all the time. Uh, he mm -hmm. he was in the every time we turned around he was coming in the room, and um, and he was checking on us. He was um, uh, wanting to review everything and how, how we were healing and um, and of course he would tell the nurses okay do this and that but the nurses were there all the time and um, very sweet very yes sweet. all of them were just very well as sweet as could be we had some of the fun. nurses spoke um, spoke English some English and of course Dr. Dr. Kulliker is fluent in English and um, 
And so, no, that was not a problem at all. You know, we would, I would suggest that anyone wanting to come down here learn a few oft-used phrases, mm -hmm. and um, and you'll you'll get a, you'll get through everything a lot easier. But um, no, most everyone um, spoke English, you know, and so that was that was not a problem at all. They were very patient with us. Mm -hmm. Very patient. Yeah, and and. Um, they were feeding us every time I turned around. I mean, I, we had a running joke when the lady would come in with the menu, you know, um, and I'd go, oh, come here, come here. <laughs> we're going to eat some more. And the food was fantastic. It was great. And um, the, the food here at Casa Marino was first class. It, yeah. it was really good. Yeah. You have some great cooks that. here. Yeah. Felisa and um, Miriam. Um, Miriam. Miriam. Yeah. Yeah, they can really uh, cook. And um, and they're wonderful to, to work with. Also, uh, Fabiola is, is great. She is fluent in English, and you know she works with Dr. Kolaker. And he told us that she did, and that he she would be checking on us, um, and um, uh, she would uh, change our bandages, you know, and our, and our dressings. And uh, so she did that a couple times. But Dr. Kolaker came over uh, after we had our surgery and made a house call, which is. You don't ever have that in the states. And today we still have our our sutures in, and um, you know I've still got mine for my left, and then also you know for our facelift. And um, he's coming here to make a house call to uh, remove the sutures and the stitches. I mean that that's great. We don't have to go out. We don't have to do anything but just rest. With all my reservations, this has been an excellent experience. Mm -hmm. I'm very impressed. Oh yeah. And very happy that, that <clears throat> and we did it. The the beds were great, you know, yes. the the um the linens were fantastic. We just opened up our door and the altitude here is about six thousand feet I think. And so we're not used to that. We opened up the door and left the screen locked and um the air would come through at night and it just puts you to sleep. Mm -hmm. At home we can't do that. And but here it we have the most peaceful sleep. We would Definitely. recommend Dr. Kelliker without reservation, and um, we have been so pleased with it. I'm still, I'm still, I have more bruising than, than Beverly um, here, and I think men bruise a little more maybe, but, um, and, and then some down here, but, and I'm a little swollen, but not bad, uh, but that's, that's going away. Oh, Pat yeah. and Greg have been wonderful. Anything we needed, we knew they were there, but they left us alone and let, let us rest. Um, you have huge pillows on your bed. It's recommended that you sleep in an upright position, and so all we had to do was kind of terrace our pillows, and mm -hmm. we fell right to sleep. And but Pat and Greg have um, have been available for everything or anything we needed. Y'all are the best. Mm -hmm. Sweet people. Highly recommend.